Oh boy, Narcolep's back. Do me a favor, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, Death Noodles, the man. The myth, the fucking weirdo, I don't know. So for those of you who don't know who Death Noodles actually is, I wouldn't blame you because I didn't know who he was until like a week ago. But he actually does have a lot of subs. He has above 400k, which in the commentary community is pretty fucking big. Now you might be wondering, what's he done that's so bad? Well, let me tell you, before any of this shit even happened, a lot of the commentary community didn't even really like him, purely because of just how unfunny he is. And I know you might be like, oh, but you're unfunny. Shut the fuck up, also, the difference between me and him is that guy legitimately considers himself a comedian. Like, the only thing that's funny to look at is this guy's face. I mean, look at him. Like, he's literally a mixture of looking 12 and looking fucking 30 at the same time. Anyway, enough rambling on about all this shit. What the point of this video is, is the fact that this guy literally cannot take a single form of criticism. He's literally the male version of Pokemon. Pretty much, how this whole thing started was a small YouTuber, under 1k subs, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I'm sure I'll find a screenshot somewhere. A YouTuber with under 1k subs made a video on him. It had around 400 views. And Death Noodles found that because I'm presuming he searches his own name or some shit. And he posted it onto his Twitter and pretty much made it out like he was making a joke out of it, but he were actually just, in a way, sending his fan base to that person's channel to hate. So here's a tweet. Pretty much in the tweet, he said, Absolute genius makes video telling the world he's madly in love with me. So he's playing it out as if he's joking. So you think about it. A channel with not even 1,000 subscribers and then a YouTuber with over 400k subscribers tweeting out that guy's video, the 400k audience is gonna go and shit on that guy whether he tells them to or not. And this is literally one of the simple forms of not being able to take criticism. Instead of, you know, responding to it, disproving some of the criticisms it made on you, instead you send your fan base of 400,000 to go and fucking attack a channel with not even 1k subs. Okay, you're fucking normal, clearly. So then him and Algi RFC pretty much get into a beef on Twitter, which is just, I can't even be asked to talk about that. Twitter's fucking gay. We all know that. They pretty much both just argue back and forth about how Death Noodles can't take criticism, and then Death Noodles say shit like, oh, I'm just joking, how can't I take criticism? Which is something he does a lot, by the way. He, when he gets called out on his points and bad takes and shit, he just comes out and says, oh, I was only joking, to pretty much deflect any criticism. And Death Noodles has a fan base that pretty much suck him off. He's one of those YouTubers where his fan base never tell him when he does something wrong they're literally always like oh yes do that right yes you did that right it's fucking shut up anyway to end this video off boys death noodles just i don't even know what to say about him he's just a weirdo he's just one of the typical weirdo commentary channels he's pretty much a shit keemstar and that's that's hard to do to be a shit version of keemstar because keemstar's the shit version of scare so to be a shit version of keemstar you just fucking quit now since he found that youtuber's video with 900 subs there is a chance that he could find my video so Def Noodles, if you're watching this, change up your style a bit, mate. You look like a 12-year-old and a 30-year-old at the same time. It's fucking confusing. So that's it for today's video, boys. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy, leave a dislike. If you're fucking a fan of Def Noodles, subscribe. Thanks for watching, cunts, and fuck off. Mama told me, one day I'm gonna grow up big and I'm gonna be a king. And my papa told me, it's okay to say what you want, but don't fuck with me. Mama told me, one day I'm gonna grow up big and I'm gonna be a king. And my papa told me, it's okay to say what you want, but don't fuck with me.